What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today we are doing another wedding. We had a prom last night. That was a wild one. Calvary Country Club prom. Uh, I'll have some clips of that on my Instagram. I did not do a gig log though. But today we're doing a wedding at r and in Vicksburg, Michigan. We've been here a couple times. We've got a couple gig logs here already. Uh, getting ready to set up. Uh, a couple different changes to the setup. So since I had the subs already in my truck, uh, we're gonna be setting the subs up. We're still gonna use the J8s, uh, but the subs are gonna be kind of back behind me to add some bass because this is a really big room. So we got DJ and photo booth, and the layout's a little different today. So as you can see here, the dance floor is actually gonna be between me and the bar. Typically the dance floor has been this way in the past, but I talked to the couple and I was like, hey, listen, the dance floor at this spot is always way too big. I wanna make it a little smaller. So we made it happen for me, and I think it's gonna be a successful, uh, a little addition to the event just switching those things up but let me uh do a time lapse real quick for you guys and then i'll walk you through all the equipment let's go So a couple different things, obviously for one, we got the subs tonight, so had them in the truck still from that prom, so I decided to bust them out. And then these are new as well, so these stands, not officially on the market yet, when they are, I will let you guys know. Uh, this is an addition that I made, so I just used a Global Trust bracket and the Astera clamp, and I think it's different, it's unique. Uh, these have a three leg base, but everything over here is the same as usual. Rain 12s, Rain 70, MacBook, RCF mixer, uh, Sennheiser digital mics, a mat, gotta have that. But yeah guys, that's the setup. Uh, I'm gonna set up photo booth real quick, and then I gotta dabble around with the ceremony setup. Uh, because I got to tie into their house system and stuff like that. So I want to make sure I have that dialed in. But I'm going to set up the photo booth real quick, uh, shoot some B-roll, and uh, get this party started. The brand new Mr. and Mrs. Trevor Gray! guys I stepped outside to avoid copyright and uh, give you guys a quick update so dinner is done first dance is done cake is done toasts are done uh, we are opening the dance floor up in 30 minutes so we got uh, parent dances and that's it and it's open dancing after that so no uh, we're not doing any sort of anniversary dance or anything like that so we're just gonna go straight to open dancing uh, pretty rowdy crowd so far they haven't been listening the best which means that they're drinking and they're having fun so I think it's gonna be a good one I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one so stay tuned I got the GoPro ready to get a bunch of footage uh, I don't know how much we have to get with the, this camera but at least for the GoPro, GoPro footage so let's go
So here we are again doing another Sunday recap because I can never seem to film an outro at the end of the night, uh, which is fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, overall, I mean, it was a it was a good gig. I mean, I would rate it a seven or eight out of ten. Uh, the crowd was they're great. I mean, they're fun people. Um, I'd say biggest thing. Uh, fighting against me at this particular event was it was a 60 40 roughly split I'd say 60% of the crowd was 50 plus uh, while that's not a bad thing you know those people will still dance some I had them dancing a little bit earlier but at one point um, I actually well for starters the bride's dad during his toast had a couple one-liners and Nobody was really laughing at him. I thought they were hilarious. Uh, you know, he had a, he threw in a "that's what she said" joke and some other stuff that I thought was pretty funny. And he even made a comment. He's like, "Okay, tough crowd." Uh, so I thought maybe he just needed a little more liquid liquid encouragement or whatever. So after dinner, um, you know, we get open dancing started, and there's a little bit of a line at the bar, and uh, I was having a really hard time getting people to dance. You know, I played a few songs that normally go over really well and not much of a reaction at all i uh, had some of the younger crowd out there wedding party and stuff like that but the actual other guests were just kind of sitting at their tables mingling um which isn't always a bad thing because if, if you've ever seen uh mike walters has a really good seminar on why people dance and that's a really good one and he goes into into depth about the three types of guests you know there's the dancers the skeptics and the sitters uh, this particular wedding, we had a lot of sitters, I could tell. But at one point, I even made a comment, and I said, Hey, uh, this is kind of a joke, you know. I said, Hey, I don't know if you guys have uh, got a 5K you're all running tomorrow, or if everybody's got to get up and mow the lawn with a push mower, but uh, your legs aren't going to be that tired. You can still dance. And I didn't get a single reaction out of that. People just looked at me like I was crazy. So that's when I knew... It was going to be rough. <laughs> so most of those guests left. We ended up with pretty much just the wedding party and some close family. You can see from the video, it was about 30 people or so that pretty much were on the dance floor the whole rest of the night. And it was good to go. But I mean, this is a wedding that was, you know, 150 people. So uh, I expected it to be a lot more dancing than what there was. You know, I'm not scared of an older crowd. I can get them to dance typically. This event, I had a hard time with it. So... You know, it is what it is. You can't win them all, but the 30 people that stayed till the end, thank you guys. <laughs> you guys know who you are. Uh, you did a great job. You know, you were, there weren't a ton of requests. I played some fun songs I don't get to play. You know, um, uh, Bloodhound Gang, I played that. That was a request. I played Crazy Rap. The Groom, oh my gosh. He literally ran to the dance floor. They, they told me, like, dude, play Afro Man, Crazy Rap. You know, the groom loves it. And sure enough, he bolts to the dance floor, sings every single word. That was great. Uh, there's a couple songs that I played for the bride that also I'd never heard of that were pretty funny or pretty good. Um, one of them was kind of funny. I can't really get the name of it off the top of my head, but there's a little clip of that one in there too. But yeah, overall, super fun couple, you know, fun, fun crowd. Um, I would have liked, like I said, I would have liked to have more people dancing. I brought the subs out. Holy crap. So that's a big room. So I was kind of excited that I had the subs with me. And that that made it, that made my night just having the subs there because it was just it sounded so much better than with just the just the J8s. Um, I'm highly considering bringing at least one of those bass boss subs to every event that I do that allows subwoofers. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the venues in my area do not allow subwoofers because they're barns and things like that, so this don't allow subs. But for the venues that do, I definitely think I'm going to start bringing at least one of those just to add a little bit of punch to uh, to things. Uh, but all right guys that's about all I have for this one you know as always if you're new around here please consider subscribing click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos we're fastly approaching 5,000 as soon as we do I'm gonna give something super cool away so stay tuned for that peace yeah.